Getting started with the deck build, mount the ledger to the house with temporary screws identified by the white arrow and temporarily screw the side joists identified by the green arrows to the ledger. Note, screw several pieces of 2x2s two two to the house to temporarily support the ledger while securing it. Also, support the joists with temporary posts identified by the red arrows. The cross posts at the end of the side joists also provide support and prevents movement. Square the deck to the house by cutting the ends off two 2x4s two at 45 degree angles identified by the dark blue arrows and screw them to the ledger and the side joists. Take measurements side joists to side joists up against the house in the middle where the cross beam will be connected and at the end. It should measure 16 feet across at all four points. If not, make adjustments. Also measure corner to corner diagonally and make adjustments if the measurements are not the same. The light blue arrow to the left of the slider identifies the flashing. The flashing fits under the siding and sticks out over the ledger. This prevents moisture from getting to the ledger and joist hangers. The yellow arrows identify a string connected to each side joist at 13 feet. This is where the cross beam will be nailed and aids in identifying the location of the footings. A 2x4 could have been used as well instead of a string. The string helps to identify where the footings go. The end footings are directly under the side joist at 13 feet. Mark the string with a black marker every four feet to identify the location of the center footings. Use a plumb bob to identify the center of each footing. These are the steps for mounting the ledger to the side joist. The two important things worth mentioning again are squaring the deck to the house and identifying the location and center of the footings. It's very important to get these two things right because everything from here on out depends on these two things being right.